Hey YouTube, welcome to my shop. I'm Mike and this is Round 2 Woodworks. You know, today I'm going to start a new project. Uh, I'm not sure that there'll be too many of you that are interested in it, but if there are, hopefully a few that might get something out of it. What I've decided to do, and I'm drawing up the plans right now, is let me give you a hint. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I like to fish. As a matter of fact, my first memory is catching a fish and my dad and grandpa patting me on the back for such a good job of catching that sucker. And I'll bet you it was at least 10 inches long, but to me, it felt like Moby Dick. And ever since that time, I have really loved to fish. Now, my father probably instilled a lot of that into me. I mean, except for his family, fishing was his greatest love. And, and actually, he passed that down to my son. My son really loves fishing, too. But my dad was a, a bait caster, spinning, spinning reel kind of guy. And I did, I, I do a, did and do a lot of backpacking. Uh, so I'm more of a creek kind of guy, which I like fly fishing. So what I've decided to do is uh, make a fly tying station, kind of a, a small bench. Now, it's not going to be great big because I, I don't do that much of it, but I wanted to get all my fly tying stuff together into one central location so when I do want to tie I don't have to hunt around the house in in the rafters of the garage because I still got some some stuff up there that I got to dig out but what I've decided to do is make a station that will hold boxes uh, of the, the tying gear so let me uh, let me show you exactly what I've uh, come up to within my mind's eye. Now sometimes my mind's eye is blinder than a bat. I'm not sure this will work out all that great, but I'm not sure it won't either. I'm going to try. So uh, let's, uh, let me show you what I've got going. Okay, like most everything I make, I try to draw a little schematic so I don't get confused or cut things wrong or whatever. So this is what I've drew, drew, uh, drawn up. This workstation, tie flying station, will be 17 and a half this way. It will be 26 inches this direction. Then it will have a two inch, a two inch gap, eight inch gap, three inch gap, two or eight inch and two inches now the two the, the two inch gap so I can drill holes down there and set my hackle pliers my scissors uh, uh, wire cutters whatever the tools will be stored in here it will s stand up this area will come out a little farther um, it'll be like this it'll be five and a half inches up now these will stick in here they'll be double stacked they'll stick in this area okay now this part will stick out three inches three and a half inches or so and what i'll do is i'll tie my vise onto that and this will be i didn't draw it but it'll stick out a couple inches so I can put my my light and magnifying glass on that uh, I definitely need that because without uh, magnification I couldn't put the tibet through the the eye of the hook so that's uh, basically what we're going to do so we'll start we will start uh, with cutting a 17 and a half by 26 inch and then we will cut these pieces here these blue pieces and yellow pieces I color code and so I know what length to cut and how many to cut I guess it's time to 
get on this thing. Let's let's get going. I failed to mention that uh, everything I'm going to use I've got on hand. So this thing might be pieced together with regular plywood, Baltic birch, maybe some uh, uh, some walnut, some red oak. I will pick that as I go along. But the first thing we need to do is cut the base at 17 and a half by 26. So we might as well get on that cut right now. sides have to be five and a quarter. According to my schematic, I need one piece 20, 25 inches long. 25 inches long. This, this cut's got to be very accurate, so I've got to use my end crew. inches long.
12 inches now. 12 inches. Now we're cutting the top 18 by 26. It's a half inch bigger than the base. Alrighty. There's kind of a rough look at what it'll be like. So now all I got to do is get my air compressor out, my staple gun out, the glue bottle out, and let's get on this thing. Coming along, coming along. Now we got to cut the shells, eight and a half by twelve. Okay, I've got it two and a half inches to the bottom of the dado. Now I need a, I need a quarter of an inch dado. That will be it right there. Lock this puppy down. We're ready to put in the dados on, on the shelf brackets. Okay, I got my uh, woodpeckers out there, and uh, it's time to glue and screw this baby up.
YouTube. We're moving right along. I got most of the major work done. All I have to do next is uh, put the border on like this around the top. There'll be one piece that sticks out a little bit farther to hold the vise and then there will also be a, a lip around the, the bottom part to uh, to hold, you know, catch anything that may fall off. I will drill holes down here for the tools, the scissors, the hackle, the pliers, and that kind of stuff. The, the boxes are fitting in pretty good. I've, I started putting my threads and stuff in. I will also have threads on the back and little rolls. So, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with it right now. And uh, I can't wait to see how it finishes up. I don't know if I'm going to paint the box or stain it walnut. I haven't got that far yet. I'll think about it tonight. But anyway, I think I'm going to call it quits tonight and uh, start on it tomorrow again. So I hope you drop back by to see what the finished product. And until then, YouTube, I really appreciate you stopping by. I really do. And uh, I wish you well, and we'll see you next time. Take care.